Hey guys, it's Lance and Max Sound Solutions, and today I'm going to show you how to back up your iPhone onto an external drive. I've been doing this for a long time. Apple's method is to have you back up your phone and it goes right into your user account on your Macintosh HD. So right there, you're eating up a whole bunch of your internal storage. The best thing to do is to store it on an external SSD, but you have to do a little trick, which I'm going to show you how to do it, to get your iPhone and your iPad backups to be stored on an external drive instead of your internal SSD. And of course, you can also back up your iPhone to iCloud, but that again is eating up a bunch of space that you could use for something else. Personally, I do not do that. I just store all my iOS backups on an external drive. And currently my iPhone and my iPad are eating up 200 gigs. So if you have a small internal drive, you're going to be eating up that storage really quickly with just a couple of iOS backups. So it's really best to put them on an external drive. We're going to delete the backups on the internal drive, clearing up a whole bunch of space. So let's get to it. And a quick side note, if you want to help out my channel, I have a link to my Amazon store where I have handpicked certain things that I use with my Macs, like the Samsung T7 portable SSD, which is great for this kind of job just to back up your iOS data. I get a little commission if you buy something and it's much appreciated. Thank you for your support. Now back to the video. Okay, so we're going to go to our Macintosh HD. If you're not seeing it, you need to go over to Finder, Settings, and click click on hard disks and it'll show your Macintosh HD on your desktop. And I have a two terabyte SSD that we're going to be copying our mobile sync folder to my two terabyte SSD. And that's going to be the location that we put all our iOS backups, our iPhone, our iPad will be going there from now on. So of course you have to connect it before you do a backup. But currently those reside on the Macintosh HD eating up a whole bunch of space. Okay. Cause I have a 256 gig iPhone and I I have a 512 gig iPad. So those two backups alone are eating up a lot of space. Here we're going to go into our users folder on the Macintosh HD, and then we're going to go to my main user account. I only have one on this computer, Mini T2. So we're going into the home folder and that's where your desktop documents, downloads, movies, music, pictures, and public folders are. So the one folder we need to see that Apple hides from us is the user library folder. And there's different ways to get there, but I'm going to show you how to turn it on so it's always visible with all the other folders. So we're going to go over to view under finder. We go to view and we go down to show view options, or you can hit command J to get there. Now at the bottom here, because I'm in list view, I want to hit show library folder. So there it is. Okay. There's our user library. You can also do this in different views. So if you're in icon view, you can go here, show library folder. It does the same thing. I always prefer to be in list view. It just makes things easier for me visually. Okay. And it keeps things in order. So we're moving forward here. So we got our user library. It's always going to be visible from this point on once you hit that checkbox. So we're now going to go inside the user library and we're going to go to application support. Okay. There's a whole bunch of stuff in here, but if you view it by name uh, from a down, you're going to have application support near the top. So we go to application support and then we go down to mobile sync. Okay. That's got your iOS backups, which Apple basically hides from you and sticks on your internal drive. So we're going to go look at that. And inside that folder is a folder called backup. And then we've got two nondescript folders. And what we're going to do here is we're going to calculate our sizes. So we go to show view options again and when we're on this folder backup and we want to hit calculate all sizes. So there you see, this is my iPhone backup, 74 gigs. And this is my iPad backup, 118 gigs. Now I would never store my backups in iCloud. That is just going to eat up all your storage in your iCloud account. So you want to turn that off on your iOS device under iCloud. You do not want to have that turned on. 
Okay, so now we're going to open up our SSD. Uh, this SSD is formatted in APFS. I would highly recommend that's the format you use. Don't do it on an XFAT formatted drive. You want it to be formatted in Apple's file system APFS. So we're just going to copy over our mobile sync folder. There it is. I put a little green tag on it. I'm just going to copy it over. That's step number one, is to get your data off the internal drive. And once it's done copying, we're going to delete this and free up that 200 gigs of internal storage. So it's going to take seven minutes to run. I'm just going to let it go and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so we copied over our mobile sync folder to our external SSD and now we're going to go delete our mobile sync folder. You could always make a backup of that if you wanted to. Uh, I'm going to roll the dice and just now delete my mobile sync folder from the internal drive. Make sure you're on the right drive. Macintosh HD, users, my user account, library, application support. So it's already in the trash here and we're going to hit empty trash. So we just saved 200 gigabytes with two iOS backups, right? So now what we have to do is create a SIM link to this folder. It's a folder that will point Mac OS to our mobile sync folder. And it's very easy to do. You have to use terminal, which is located in the launch pad. You go to launch pad and go to other, or it's on your internal Macintosh HD applications utilities folder. And there it is, Terminal. I keep Terminal in my dock over here, so I've already got it ready to go, but that's where it's located, okay? And what we're gonna type here is we're just gonna create a symbolic link called a sim link for short. So we type in ln spacebar dash s spacebar, and we're gonna drag over from our external SSD mobile sync and then we're going to hit enter and there it is it just showed up in our user folder right that's where it's going to anytime you create a sim link and you don't tell it where to go it's going to show up in your user folder with all your other folders so we can quit terminal now because we created our symbolic link so it's like an alias but it's a little more tied to the operating system than an alias, and the operating system recognizes it as an, the actual original folder. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our symbolic link and we're gonna move it where the old original mobile sync folder was located. So again, we go to our user account, and then we go to our user library, not to be confused with the library on your Macintosh HD. It's the library that's in your user folder that we made visible, okay? So there we go. We go into our library folder and then we go to application support. And we just simply drag this baby in. Now you don't want it to go inside one of these other folders. You want it to go into the directory. So you don't have it being going like that. You want to drag it so you see how it's got a blue line around the whole box there. That means it's going to just get copied or moved. So in our case, we just moved it. And there it is, mobile sync. Let me make these bigger. Go to show view options. Make larger icons here. So there it is. And you can see there's a little arrow there, which means this folder is pointing to another location, right? So if I double click on this, it takes us to two terabyte SSD, mobile sync. So what we've done is created a symbolic link on the internal Macintosh HD that now points to the external SSD. And what's gonna happen from this point forward, when we make a backup, that's gonna go to the external SSD. The data will no longer get copied on the internal Macintosh HD, eating up all of your internal storage or a lot of it, especially if you have multiple devices. So I could plug in my iPhone now, I guess, and just show you that that's what's gonna happen. And there it is on the desktop. Back up your most important data on your iPhone to iCloud. 
I don't want to do that. And normally it'd be backing it up to the internal drive, but now we've got it set up to back up to the external drive. So I'm going to hit back up now and it's going to do its thing. And it's probably going to create, you always have to unlock your phone when you do these. After you hit back up now, there it goes. Okay, so it's just updating the backup we already have. And it's doing it very quickly because I haven't really made any changes to my phone. So it's probably just analyzing and going through and creating the latest backup. And we're done. Okay, so it didn't create a new file. It just updated what was already there. But now we're not putting all this data on the internal drive. And that's the point of this exercise. So I hope this helped you out. I have videos on how to move your entire home folder, the user account on an external drive so that you're not eating up your internal storage. And there are some pluses and minuses, but overall it works really well for me. I have two terabytes external as opposed to the 256 gig internal. And that makes a big difference. And you can always expand that and go up to four terabytes or eight terabytes, depending. All right, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if this video helped you out and give me that thumbs up and I'll see you on the next Max Sound Solutions video.